Okay, so it didn't really take us too long, um, and we finally put together a menu that I really wanted and I really like how it looks like. So together we're going to go through the steps that we took to achieve this menu. This menu is uh, mobile friendly. I'm going to inspect it and we'll see how it responds to different screen sizes. As you can see that the elements shift towards each other, then they um, kind of spread apart, then they come closer together, and then it transforms into a mobile menu, uh, just like that. So I think it's a really cool concept and it's also semi-transparent. So you, it's a sticky menu, it stays at the top. As you can see, if I uh, scroll down, let me just exit out the mobile version. As I scroll down, you can see that it became whitish because we have just the whitish background here, but really it's a semi-transparent menu. You'll see stuff floating right behind it once the page uh, is active. So let's go step by step and I'll show you how you can use it for your website. We have assembled it using uh, Max Mega Menu. That's the plugin that we used. And right now we're going to do something crazy. We're just going to delete it. Delete the menu. I've deleted everything. Um, I've deleted. I'm going to set this to default right now. I'm going to also go to Advanced Custom uh, to Max Mega Menu uh, menu themes. And I'm also going to delete the theme as well. Delete theme. Yeah. Okay, the theme has been deleted. Appearance, menus. Deleted all of the elements. I'm going to go to WordPress administration. Uh, to the source files. I'm going to delete the source files as well. And I'm going to delete all of the uh, CSS. So good. Right now we shouldn't see anything. Done. Blank page. Let's get started. Okay, first off, I'm going to head over to acfboot.com. This is the library of scripts and I'm going to navigate over to menus. I have logged in already and we're going to click expand. I'm going to copy HTML and we're going to add HTML into our header fire file just like that. Going to copy CSS, going to head over to CSS and add it here just like that. Going to copy JSON. Okay, so now we're going to go to Max Mega Menu. We're going to go to Menu Themes and we're going to click on this. Uh, three dotted icons and click import a theme. Now that's we're, that we're here, we're going to uh, paste the JSON uh, stuff here, click save, and um, it's done, it's imported. Going to click on, on this, we're going to rename it so it's not imported but actually looks normal, and we're going to save changes. Great. Now we can go to the actual menus. Let's click on menus, we're going to click create a menu, we're going to assign this as a primary menu, save menu, let's add some pages, custom links, we're going to add, uh, going to add menu, because that's going to be an external link, we're going to add it here, we're also going to add pages, another home page, which will be our logo. And we're also going to add the Facebook. Facebook, which will go at the very end right here. Excellent. So let's have a look at how that looks right now. Um, so you can see that we set the theme to this specific theme. Just going to save here just to make sure. Okay, great. We have Facebook, we have, we don't have the logo yet, but it's coming along nicely. Okay, so now we need to just uh, make sure that each of the, the logo and the Facebook is uh, configured correctly. We're going to go over here and we first off are going to uh, style this uh, properly. So first thing uh, is the effect mode. I would like to have it slide uh, from the right and then 
I'd like to have it uh, that specific thing. Uh, I want it to be sticky. I want it to be uh, stick on uh, desktop. So all that is good. Um, that so this looks pr fairly good right now. We're going to click on Mega Menu right here. We're going to go to Settings, and within the settings, we will be um, modifying this uh, slightly. So we're going to uh, hide it on a mobile device, and we're going to uh, position it on the left side. That's going to be our logo. Okay, so we're going to go ahead over here in the source code. I'm just going to grab the the background color over here that I'm I'm using for the background. There's multiple of ways how you can get that background color, but that's uh, that's my preferred way. Just to quickly inspect the actual source code and get it from there. Okay, so we've done that, and the last thing is the replacement. Uh, that's going to be a logo replacement. I'm going to quickly add that specific logo that we have. Now this logo is uh, 325 by 188, uh, but we're going to scale it down um, right now. I'm going to scale it down to uh, 200 pixels. Alright, so we're pretty much good, I think. Let's refresh the page. So there we go, we have uh, that logo on the left side. I'm going to use the screen size so it works. The only thing is that we need to add the margins and we'll get to that shortly. Let's work on the Facebook now. For the Facebook, we'll click the same navigation menu here. I'm going to go to settings, uh, hide text, hide on mobile. Menu item line on the right side, and then we save change. Icon Facebook close save menu. Okay, great. So we need to now contain the items so they're closer. Uh, together. This way menu looks way too spread apart. Okay, so I'm going to navigate over to this item here and I'm also going to look at what specific item number it is. And you can see that this item number is 44. You can see it here. Item 44. So we're going to go to our style CSS and we're going to change this to item number 44. Same here. 44. Now your installation will be different. So you make sure that you get your correct item number. We do that by inspecting. See this one is 45. So we're going to change this to 45. Hopefully this will work. And it works wonderful. So there we go. Uh, that's how we can quickly add navigation menu to the header. And right now you know how to do that. All of the source files are located within the ACF boot library of scripts. And uh, exact this video will be located right over here. So it's here for your reference. If you need anything else, uh, feel free to let me know and I'll be happy to help you out. You can reach me by going to webbaker.com and going to contact us page right here. We build really nice websites. If you need a website built, I'll be happy to build you a website. Okay, so uh, thanks and see you in the next video.